welcome to Seba Nature, my YouTube channel. Hi folks, today we are looking at why leaves change colour in autumn. In autumn, leaves start changing their colour and you can see the green leaves turning yellow, orange and red. But why is this happening? The first thing you need to know is that the green leaves you see in spring and summer already include all the colours you see in autumn, but they are hidden away. The colours in the leaves are called pigments and during spring and summer the yellow, orange and red pigments you see in autumn are simply covered up by the green pigment chlorophyll, which is much stronger and dominant. What happens in autumn is that the trees use up the chlorophyll and the other colours start appearing. So folks, how does that work? Okay, you need to understand that chlorophyll, remember that's the green pigment in the leaves, helps the trees to absorb the energy of the sunlight. In a way, Chlorophyll makes the leaves work a bit like solar panels and helps them to turn sunlight into energy. That means they charge the tree like a battery during summer. When the days are long and there's lots of sunshine, you may have heard about this process before. It's called photosynthesis. When you look at my drawing, you can see that the chlorophyll in the leaves uses carbon dioxide from the air and water through its roots and turns it into energy. This then charges the tree and this also creates oxygen, which we breathe. So trees are doing a very, very important job. When the days get shorter in autumn and there's less sunshine, the leaves use up all the chlorophyll and the other pigments start showing their true colours. The yellow pigment is called exanthophyll and you can also find it in corn or egg yolk. The orange pigment is called carotene and you can also find it in carrots or oranges. The red and purple looking pigment is called anthocyanine. You can find it in many berries. At the end of this process, the leaves fall off the tree because they have stopped making energy for the tree and have to make space for the new leaves the tree will grow in spring. There's also some other stuff happening in the tree. There's a hormone called auxin, which the tree stops making and that helps with shedding the leaves. Nature is really clever and complex. Over winter, the tree will use its energy it has stored in the summer. It's a bit like a battery draining its energy. Trees that lose their leaves are called deciduous trees. Examples are oak trees, maple trees, ash, beech, and sycamore. Well, folks, not all trees lose their leaves in autumn. Evergreen trees, like fir and pine trees, stay green because they can make their own energy all year round. They have leaves that are like needles. They're thick and waxy, and the shape allows them to store water in freezing temperatures, and they can make energy even when there isn't much sunlight in winter. That's maybe why we have fir trees as Christmas trees. Did you know that the original German version of the carol, O Christmas Tree, has lyrics that talk about how the Christmas tree isn't just green in summer when most of nature is green, but also in winter when it snows a lot. Now you know a bit more about why this happens. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Bye for now.